what all he does with this equipments i will be telling you all about a very important equipment on board let me just start with telling you guys what all equipments that we have on board there are two kinds of distresses that can be sent one is undesignated and designated guys welcome on board kilo mike niner in this video we will try to familiarize you with the gmd ss equipments on board you can see behind me various equipments these are known as the gmd ss equipments and this place is known as the gmd ss console or the radio room in the olden days there is a dedicated radio room but nowadays this much space is for the radio equipment that is the radio space we are saying so guys uh, i wanted to introduce you to the first officer on board who will introduce us with the GMD SS equipments because he is overall in charge for the GMD SS equipments so he will tell us familiarize us with the GMD SS equipments so without wasting any more time i would like to introduce you to the first officer on board Hi Akash how are you so he is Akash Chauhan first officer on board this large LNG carrier and he is the one in charge for all this GMD SS equipments you are watching behind me he used to take care of these equipments he is the in charge for inspection and maintenance of these equipments and testing of these equipments so he will give a brief introduction about himself and what all he does with these equipments first of all thank you kusha for giving me this opportunity welcome and uh, hello everyone my name is akash chauhan and i am sailing as a first officer on this large lng carrier uh, today with the help of uh, koshab i will be telling you all about a very important equipment on board which is global maritime distress and safety systems there are various number of equipments that come under it so we will just rightly start with it let me just start with telling you guys what all equipments that we have on board which comes under global maritime distress and safety system so first equipment that we have is you can say vhf then comes mfhf then satellite c which we have two on board satellite c number 1 satellite c number 2 and then what we have is sart search and rescue transponder and then we have eperb emergency positioning indicating radio beacon i will first i will tell you the equipments that i have in front of me right over here so let's begin with mfhf So in case of MFHF what we basically do in all these equipments they are majorly made for the purpose of sending distress and making people aware in the vicinity or people far away that the vessel is in distress meaning a vessel is in grave or imminent danger and it needs some sort of an assistance to be rescued there are two kinds of distresses that can be sent one is undesignated and designated so for sending an undesignated distress it is very simple anybody can do it all you need to do is just come up here pull up this and then you just press the distress button for 3 seconds continuously and then you will see that the distress button has light up and your distress has gone so now this distress will go to all the ships which are in the range meaning ships up to 150 nautical miles or more in case if any ship is in the vicinity all the ships which will get this distress they will try to respond they will try to help you but first they will wait for coast station to reply if the coast station is not replying or nobody is acknowledging then those ships will acknowledge and reply to you now after you have sent an alert the other ship after getting an alert will start corresponding to you on the respective rt frequency which meaning let's say if you have sent an alert on this mfhf then immediately the other ship will go to 2182 kilohertz which is an rt frequency and you will start corresponding with the ship which has acknowledged your distress now let's talk about designated distress meaning you can you will be able to tell more information about you like which type of danger the ship is in meaning i if you are sinking if there is collision if there is a fire on board if there is a piracy so what we need to do is in that case we will just go to alert we select the nature of distress right now it is undesignated because nothing is selected so you just enter and then you change it to abandoning piracy man overboard 
and all these options that we have so right now we will not select anything because you know as it can start giving false alert so we will cancel this and after selecting this thing then we just do what we did in the undesignated case we just pull up this and then press this button for 3 seconds and your distress will be gone so this will be designated distress and the same thing now the communication will start into the uh, the corresponding radio frequencies rt frequencies which will be 2182 kilohertz and so on and so more now i think this is this is more or less good enough for mfhf now let's shift to sat c on board we have two number of sat cs in this also you will be able to send distress in two modes one is designated and the other one is undesignated let's talk about undesignated distress first so what we need to do is similarly what we did in in mfhf case you just need to pull up this and then press the distress button continuously for 3 seconds and then you will see that this distress button has lit up that means the undesignated distress has gone okay so one more difference that i would like to put focus on that this mfhf is based on terrestrial communication but this is based on satellite communication this sat c okay so when you press this button it will lit up and the distress will be gone now this distress will go to ships as well as coast stations this rcc which is rescue coordination centers and mrcc maritime rescue coordination centers in case of a designated distress what you need to do is just press this distress button you go to settings and then select the nature of distress you can select from here as you can see there are many options fire explosion collision listing disabled and adrift sinking grounding flooding abandoning whichever you you are uh, facing you can select and then select okay and then you you can do the same thing what you did in the undesignated distress just pick up this and press the button for 3 seconds and the distress will be gone after sending the alert you can also send a message a distress message so for that message what you need to do is just press this message select new and then select new distress message and after you select this new distress message you can put in the entire nature of distress and everything will be sent to the coast stations so over here we have sat c mfhf and third thing which is also you can say that you will be receiving but you will not be able to send from this system which is called navtex so this is navtex let me just show you as you can see that you can select the coast stations in this range you can see the range of this navtex is 500 nautical mile so what you get in this is anything which is happening in the vicinity you can select the type of messages that you want to receive if you want to receive the messages related to safety or anything like that but there are certain messages that you cannot deselect especially if something is related to distress or anything like that you will receive it you cannot uh, stop receiving it but you cannot send any distress alert from this system this is only for uh, navy this is only for you to get the information but you will not be able to alert anybody from this system so i think we are finished from this console and all of these have got separate printers as you can see on top the sat c number 1 has a printer mfhf has a printer and the sat c number 2 has a printer so the next equipment that we have is vhf radio on board we have two vhf radios this is the most commonly used gmdss equipment so far this is also used for further communicating to ships which are in vicinity and so on and so forth so the first thing that you can do in this one is you can just for sending a undesignated distress just pull up this one and press this button distress button for continuously 3 seconds and then similarly like others you will see that the distress button has lit up that means that undesignated distress has gone to all other ships basically an alert will be transmitted to all the ships in the vicinity up to 30 to 50 nautical miles now after that you can start communicating with other ships on channel 16 which is an rt frequency for this distress channel now for sending a designated distress what we need to do is just select the alert and select the nature of distress which could be fire flooding collision grounding as you can see there are many options to select from whichever you are facing you can just select and then tick similarly like what we did in undesignated distress just pull up and press the distress button continuously for 3 seconds and then the distress is gone and you can start communicating with ships this is it for uh, vhf radio now let's move on to another equipment which i will be showing you here
Okay, so the next equipment that I will be telling you about is SART, which is also called Search and Rescue Transponder. Now, this is a very important equipment because this will help for the ships in vicinity to determine your exact position. Now, how to operate this one? I'll just show you. So, for any ship which is abandoning, anybody who, when, when we are going to abandon the ship, what we do is we immediately take it out and we go to the lifeboat and we abandon the ship. Now, after you abandon the ship, you activate it only when you see the ships are in vicinity. Otherwise, you will be draining the battery. This will stand for 96 hours. The standby time for this equipment is 96 hours and for eight hours continuous operation. So you need to be mindful of when you are operating it because you don't want to drain the battery when there are no ships around. Because when the ships will be around you, if even if you start, the battery will not be there and it will not transmit anything. So this equipment, will be shown only on the X-band radar. Let me just show you on board our ship, which one is X-band radar. So this is our X-band radar on board. All other ships as per the SOLAS requirement and GMDC's requirement will be having an X-band radar. So when this is being inquired by an X-band radar frequency, it will start showing up on the radar and you will see 12 dots wherever the location of SART is located. So one thing that you need to keep in mind while abandoning the ship is we need to switch off our own X-band radar because if we don't switch it off, it will this will be getting signal from our X-band radar and it will keep sending the alert and the battery will get drained out. How to operate this one? As you can see, it has got on, off and test. In order to test it, you just need to pull it downwards and as you can see, it is getting tested. You can see the light is there. That means it is testing. And similarly for switching it on, you just break the seal and pull it upwards and then this is turned on. That's it. But you got to be careful for how much time you keep it switched on. Only when you have ships in the vicinity, that time you will keep it on. Now, in order to mount it when you're on lifeboat, there is a bracket that you can use and you can mount it highwards. You need to keep the height as much as possible above the sea level because when you increase the height, it, its range will increase and it will be easier for other ships in the vicinity to be detected by this one. I think this is it about for SART. Let's move on to the other equipment. Let me just put this back. So let's move on to the other equipment. Okay, so the next equipment that we have on board in GMDS is, is Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon, EPUB. First, let me just show you how is this and how does it look from inside. As you can see that it is very nicely mounted over here. We have on board one piece. So let me just show you what all things are there. This is Emergency Position Indicating Radio Beacon and what you see on top is HRU, Hydrostatic Release Unit. So in case of a distress, if in case if we are not able to transmit any distress by any other means, this will automatically transmit distress when the ship will sink. So when the ship goes into the water one meter or further, it will automatically transmit the distress to a satellite. Now let me tell you more about it. Let me just close it first for safety reasons. Okay, so about this equipment, uh, this equipment has a standby time of 48 hours and this works on a satellite based system. It works on Cosmos SARSAT satellite. What this system does is, it has a helix code of about 12 digits. So this helix code, every ship has an individual helix code. This helix code is transmitted to a satellite and then the satellite will transmit it to RCC, MRCC and your flag state. And from that helix code, the ship's information can be obtained like name of the ship, IMO number. Now to get a fix of this equipment, it will be sending a signal to all the satellites in the vicinity. In order to get a fix, you need at least two satellites in vicinity of a ship. So at any time, when we send, when the signal from this EPUB will go, 
two satellites will make a fix and then that will give a position of wherever the distress has happened or wherever the ship has sunk. So guys, you have seen how well Akash has explained everything about GMDSS. These all are equipments which are used in distress. If the vessel is in distress, like the ship is in grave and imminent danger, as Akash has explained and require immediate assistance. So we are using these equipments. Plenty equipments are given so that if one fails, we have other. If another fails, we have third one. If another fails, then we have fourth one. It is like that because life at sea is very important. As we know that life at sea is the priority. That safety of life, then safety of ship, then safety of environment and then safety of cargo. So in that priority, we are keeping us safe. That's why life is very important and safety of life at sea is very important. For that, these equipments need to be inspected, maintained and always kept ready for any emergency. Last but not the least, Akash, do you want to convey any message to the viewers who are watching this video? Hello everyone, once again, uh, as Koshab very rightly said that this is a very important equipment and the priority at sea is to save a life at sea and nobody should be in danger. And I think this is the most important equipment that we have on board and it needs regular maintenance and regular inspection of these kind of equipments. Thank you Kushab for uh, giving me this opportunity. I hope uh, I have uh, been able to tell you briefly about all these equipments. Thank you. Thank you Akash. I wanted to thank Akash uh, to give us the introduction, familiarization with these equipments which are very helpful. So I hope you have uh, liked this video. So if you like the video, do like and share if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe the channel because i'll keep on bringing this type of informative videos for you guys so that you will not have difficulty when you are coming on board or if you want to join the ship it will be very helpful for you thank you very much for watching this is kilo mike niner signing off